We will like to welcome you on briefings in EV technology. This hour in focus, Aptera Clean new interior solar electric car with 1,000 miles of range previewed. Let's explore this in more detail. The once bankrupt startup restarts, claiming its future EV will go from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 3 seconds flat. Aptera Motors has revealed its plan to create an electric car with 1,000 miles of range. It previously made a prototype called the 2E and went bankrupt, but the three founders have reunited and are fundraising. Aptera CEO Chris Anthony told Car and Driver exclusively that Aptera vehicles will achieve 0 to 60 miles per hour times ranging from 4.5 down to 3.0 seconds. The company plans to produce 10,000 units per year starting in 2022, with an initial target price between $34,000 and $59,000. The recently rebooted Aptera Motors has no less a goal than creating the world's most efficient electric car. Nearly 10 years ago, the California-based company fell into bankruptcy after building a prototype for a hyper-efficient three-wheeled EV. Now, the company announced in an interview with the technology publication IEEE Spectrum. Its founders have reunited to relaunch the company on the strength of building the world's first electric car with 1,000 miles of range. For context, the Tesla Model S tops out at 370 miles. This upcoming Aptera, the company claims, will be extremely quick as well. CEO Chris Anthony exclusively revealed to Car and Driver the claim that a standard Aptera will be able to hit 60 miles per hour in 4.5 seconds, and that a performance version will come in at 3 seconds flat. He tells us, we are deceptively quick with no wind and little rolling resistance. And we are deceptively big at about as long as a Prius, 175 inches, and wider than a Model S by 2 inches, 88 inches. The startup has yet to build a prototype of the new model, and its website is still under construction, but the founders are going public with their plans so they can raise funds. So far, the Aptera WeFunder campaign has hit almost $30,000 out of a stated $1 million, $70,000 goal to design, engineer, and tool test vehicles. Forbes, which rightly asks why anyone would give money to a decade-old idea, that has already failed once, points out that the technological improvements that EVs have seen in that time have been vast. And may we add, perhaps the team has learned from its missteps. Aptera's timeline, as laid out on the WeFunder page, is, to be polite, ambitious, the first prototypes by mid-2020, then testing and validation, and production of 10,000 units per year in several variants by 2022. By 2024, the company optimistically states, there will be 40,000 Aptera units being produced each year, including additional models. Aptera names Tesla, Nissan, and BMW as its competitors, and boldly claims that these companies struggle to focus on efficiency as they are all built from a legacy of automotive design dating back several decades. BMW, for example, would likely not be interested in building an i3 made of plastic, but that's just what Aptera is planning. IEEE Spectrum reports that Apteras will have a resin-infused sandwich core plastic composite structure to avoid both the weight of steel or aluminum and the tens or hundreds of millions of dollars required to stamp out those parts in volume. What will these efficient speed demons set you back? Aptera says their initial target price will be between $34,000 and $59,000, but notes the numbers may change once they start production. It'll be interesting to see what happens next. This content is imported from Poll. You may be able to find the same content in another format, or you may be able to find more information at their website. Thanks to the Cannonball Run movies and tales of his father's beloved 1969 Plymouth GTX, Patrick Carone has been obsessed with cars since the Reagan administration. Testing vehicles from his home in New York City 
has given him the dubious ability to confidently pilot half a million dollar supercars through Midtown at rush hour. A lot of people get into electric vehicles for their efficiency, and there's nothing more efficient than Aptera's solar electric vehicle, SEV. Thanks to an extremely lightweight three-wheel design and a drag coefficient, CD of only 0.13, the Aptera SEV can achieve 250 miles of range on a fairly small battery pack and 1,000 miles with bigger battery packs. While solar on electric vehicles has been limited to countering vampire drain or adding just a few miles of range, Aptera's electric car is so efficient that by fitting up to 700 watts of solar power, you can add up to 40 miles of range per day by just parking it outside, at a starting price of just $25,000, and it's enough to create a lot of hype. These specs have attracted a lot of attention. The company has managed to get over 22,000 reservations for the vehicle. Aptera asks for a $100 deposit, or $70 if you use a referral code, to reserve the solar electric car. A lot of those reservation holders are consuming every bit of information they can get from Aptera, as the company is trying to bring its vehicle to production after raising $40 million through crowdfunding earlier this year. Aptera has been teasing the upcoming unveiling of its Gamma prototype and released a bunch of interesting pictures that tease the interior. It shows a very clean and minimalist interior, reminiscent of Tesla's Model 3 slash Y interior. It features both an instrument cluster screen and a center display. Aptera has to both work with the limitation of the size of the vehicle, which is certainly smaller in order to achieve the kind of efficiency it is aiming for, and also the liberty that comes with not being classified as a car, but as a motorcycle or autocycle depending on the jurisdiction. While the company is obviously trying to make the vehicle as safe as possible, and certainly safer than a motorcycle, it doesn't have all the same requirements as a car, leaving more room for creativity with the interior design. The company is expected to fully unveil its Gamma prototype later this week and is aiming to bring its solar electric vehicle to production by the end of the year. Falling into the so weird it's cool category, the Aptera solar electric vehicle may end up being the most desirable EV ever built. The initial offering from California-based startup Aptera Motors is efficient, lightweight, and quite speedy. Under certain configurations, the vehicle can deliver 1,000 miles of range, which is more than triple what most current all-electrics offer. Best of all, this is an EV that almost everyone can afford, with a starting price of around $25,000. While it certainly looks unusual, the radical design is to maximize aerodynamics, and the vehicle is sure to turn heads every time it rolls down the road. The Aptera is a two-seat, three-wheeled electric vehicle that the company hopes will be the most energy-efficient vehicle in mass production. It's set up kind of like a Can-Am Spider, with two wheels in the front and one in the back, but with a cabin. It's unclear if this vehicle is a motorcycle, a sports car, or a three-door hatchback Koopa, but presumably it could be all of those things. At first glance, the Aptera looks a bit like a Terrafugia transition flying car without wings, and that's no accident. According to Aptera Motors, the vehicle's aerodynamic designs borrow from nature and are built similarly to a small, speedy aircraft. The company has managed to create a vehicle with an automobile drag coefficient that is significantly lower than any motorcycle or car in production. The Aptera further reduces drag with a unique cooling system. Traditional radiators with fans create the drag, so Aptera Motors came up with a smooth aluminum underside, filled with coolant, that transfers heat from the batteries, AC, and motors to the underbelly of the vehicle. Weight is just as much a factor as aerodynamics when it comes to a vehicle's efficiency, and that's why the Aptera is on a strict diet of composite materials. The majority of the vehicle's body is made from a carbon fiber sheet molding compound and molded fiberglass, giving it an 1,800-pound curb weight. 
A Tesla Model 3 weighs around 4,000 pounds and a Rivian R1T tips the scales at over 8,000 pounds. So the Aptera can go farther, using less energy. A lightweight, low-drag design is great, but wouldn't mean much if there wasn't some decent power to propel the vehicle. The Aptera utilizes in-wheel motor technology and comes with either a two- or three-motor all-wheel drive option, each making 57 horsepower. While that doesn't sound earth-shattering, in a three-motor configuration, the Aptera can accelerate from zero to 60 in four seconds, with a top speed of 101 miles per hour. As reported by Electric, a Beta Aptera smoked a Tesla Model 3 and an Audi R8 GT Spider in a quarter-mile race. All of this speed, range, and efficiency come with a bit of luxury as well. The seats have plenty of legroom, and there is an amazing 32.5 cubic feet of storage space. There is a generous digital dash slash infotainment system, and the rearview mirrors appear to be screens with rear-facing cameras. The interior includes stylish accents made of sustainable and recycled materials. The range is probably the most important factor for an EV, and this is where the Aptera really excels. The two-motor 25 kWh battery version has 250 miles of range, which is on par with most electric vehicles on the market. The three-motor 100 kWh drive system, however, has an astounding 1,000 miles of range. It achieves this impressive distance in part to solar panels mounted on the roof, hood, dashboard, and hatch, which charge the vehicle's batteries while driving. The solar panels also charge when the vehicle is idle, generating 40 miles of power on an average sunny day. Since most people drive less than 30 miles per day, the Aptera will never need to be plugged in for the majority of drivers. For those who do need some extra juice, the Aptera can charge from standard 120 and 240 volt AC outlets, level 1 and level 2 charging stations, as well as high-speed DC chargers. San Diego-based Aptera Motors first introduced prototypes of their radical solar-powered EVs in 2019, with a projected production date of 2020. Due to delays in finishing construction on their factory, that date kept getting moved until the company said customers would start taking deliveries in 2023. Unfortunately, they need some more capital for tooling and equipment, so it's likely that nobody is getting one until 2024, but the company insists they are on track to make and deliver vehicles this year. One customer who feels good about Aptera delivering this year is Sustainability Sooner, Incorporated, who just placed a fleet order for the solar electric vehicles. The eco-friendly company has purchased 101 of the 400-mile range Apteras and hopes to increase that order to over 100,000 as its operations expand. It's unlikely that a company would make a $3.35 million investment like that if they didn't expect delivery. So it's clear that Aptera is going to happen sooner than later. Also, there are almost 50,000 pre-orders on the EV, so there's no way the company isn't going to start delivering. With a base price of $25,900 for the two-motor 25 kWh battery, 250-mile range version, and $47,000 for the three-motor 100 kWh 1,000-mile range, the Aptera is an affordable marvel of modern science. Just in case you want to make sure you get one, investing $10,000 in the company moves your name to the top of the delivery list. The Aperta is not a family car or an off-roader, though they do offer an off-road option package. It's a two-seater for people who never want to spend another dime on fuel and like to be noticed. Its radical design is an attention-getter and its price, both in terms of initial cost and operational cost, makes it one of the coolest rides on the road. The fact that it can travel up to 1,000 miles makes it the most consequential EV ever conceived. Aptera is not an expensive supercar with enormous motors. However, with 50 kilowatts per motor and each motor having instant torque without losses in the drivetrain, it's not a weakling either. 
combined with the lightweight construction and relatively high capacity slash weight batteries, it pulls off serious numbers from 0 to 60F. The front wheel drive version takes 5.5 seconds to get you to 60. With the age of Unity version, Aptera even gives expensive sports cars a serious run for their money, doing 0 to 60F in 3.5 seconds. Here's a fun little video featuring Aptera prototypes Alpha and Beta in a drag race. The black one is 2WD, the windowless green one is an AWD. These vehicles are not completely representative for the final production models, but it gives you an idea on their capabilities. Top speed is limited to 110 miles per hour, which makes sense to me. Although Aptera's efficiency becomes even more apparent at higher speeds, there are very little places in the world that would allow you to drive faster. Car manufacturers like Volvo are now also starting to limit their vehicle's top speeds around the 110 miles per hour mark. With the in-wheel motors, the power can be controlled per wheel. So if one wheel loses grip, the power to that wheel can be reduced until it finds grip. It doesn't affect the drive of the other wheel, leading to more stability and more grip. Achieving stability with a three wheels is obviously more difficult than with four wheels. Aptera promises good stability, though, and to achieve this, the following design choices have been made. By placing the batteries under the seats, these promising numbers are achieved. This video of the beta prototype, built specifically for optimizing the suspension, shows that the Aptera is extremely stable and won't tip over in a moose test situation. Although Aptera is very lightweight and only has one back wheel without much pressure on it, Aptera claims it's not more sensitive to crosswind. In fact, it claims that Aptera has a 110 miles per hour crosswind stability, as where most flat-sided cars apparently start moving around 80 to 90 miles per hour, the aerodynamics of Aptera don't just work front to back. That's where we wrap things up for the time being. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.